Hi guys, Happy New Year. Today I thought I'd work one more time in my field book um, by Pentelic. And um, the photo that I thought I'd work on today, it's another winter scene, but it's just beautiful, I thought. This is a Bavarian church, and um, it's on Paint My Photo. I'm sorry, my screen is dirty. I've got something on it. But um, anyway, I will post the link in the description if you'd like to paint along with me. And i got to angle it here so that my light is not glaring on the screen. But this is the photo. So um, what I'm going to do is remove some of the superfluous buildings that, whoops, I hate when that happens, um, that are unnecessary. There's a little building off to the edge over here, and then there's a little yellow house over here and a roof line here. Um, this part in the center, I may keep. I kind of like those roof lines there, and I think this is actually part of the building, but I'm not sure, so I think I'll leave it on just in case. But it's on a pretty little hillside, and uh, if you're familiar with the area, this guy says the foreground is Puke, P-U-C-H, or Push, I don't know, a Bavarian village. The background is Wilder Kaiser, an Austrian mountain range. In my originals, Puch has had a bland blue sky, and the Kaiser had an Autobahn in front, but he he changed it, I guess, with his computer. He says this is a computer as sketchbook, so I'm not sure if he pulled it together or what, but... Anyway, I love whatever it is, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and sketch this out today. So, stay tuned. I'm noticing in the photo here that um, I, I kind of enlarged it a little bit. And he has this barely... Um, well, I guess it is above half. The halfway point here and then it tapers down so I'm gonna try to keep it above that halfway line on the mountains in the background but um, this is just absolutely gorgeous so uh, and when I enlarge it I like bringing the the edges in a little bit like that but I do need to keep that church off to the angle there so adding this roof line in will be beneficial in in helping the composition and the eye travel a little bit. So um, I think that's what I will do. So let's get started with the sketching. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and um, start putting my lines in here and getting an idea for where I want everything to go. Um, just want to get these lines in. top is going to come up to about there. We've got the mountain range. This is the halfway point, so anything above here is good, and it comes up like this. That's a little too high.
distracted and carried away playing with my paintbrushes. And I forgot to put the snow down first, which was really, really stupid of me. So now, somehow, I've got to get shadowing underneath all of those bushes without smearing the paint. And I've got a feeling that this could end up in complete failure. So I'm going to give it a shot here and see if I can get some shadowing in underneath there. Um, today also I'm using um, Daniel Smith paints. I'm just using my portable painter again since it's sitting here and my big palette is getting has a lot of empty emptiness going on so I need to um, get it uh, refilled. But I'm gonna make some bluey purple. Just to, that's too purple. Ooh, that's like really deep purple. There we go, now I can make this better now. Okay, and I got a lot of shadowing going on over here. See, it's already not gonna work. Oh! soak up some of the excess here. This isn't doing what I wanted it to do, but I'm just improvising at this point. And I had problems again with a lot of resist. Now, I thought that this had plastic on it, when I bought it, but I'm beginning to wonder because I'm so careful. And the other day when I had resist on my pages, I thought it was from myself, from lotion, and it could still be, but this page had tons of resist, like over the entire page. And I thought, how is that possible? Unless it's the eraser that I was using, that could be too. That's a strong possibility. Okay, I'm just putting blue in all over. I figure it'll be easier for me to add white in as I'm putting the snow on the bushes. And I can fix up any spots that are a mess, but. I don't know. Don't know. got to fix this too but okay well I'm gonna continue on press on shall we I'm just gonna stop here 
Um, it's getting a little bit messy. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix some of the snow because it's kind of graying down, but um, I think that that's pretty much how I'm gonna leave this. Um, it was fun, but it didn't turn out like I had hoped, so. Um, I was using this Deerfoot stippler brush on my branches, and that was part of the reason I wanted to do this this um, picture because it had so many bare trees in it. And this Deerfoot stippler is a brush that, excuse my hands, they're all dirty here. Um, it's shaped like a Deerfoot, and basically it's like a big round brush that's been cut on an angle and you just tap 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 and you can smear and do all sorts of stuff to get these branches which is basically what I was doing so um, anyway um, so that's it but um, it I don't know didn't turn out as good as yesterday's but but that's all right uh, the mountains I made a mess of, and um, I was trying to, I, sh I had blue in the sky, I used indigo, but then I went back with some Payne's Gray, and I shouldn't have because I wasn't thinking at the time that I'd be using Payne's Gray in the mountains, and I couldn't keep things straight there, so, um, but... I did what I could. So anyway, um, you all have a great remainder of your New Year's Day, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.